Dr. Jennifer Dillahay says while we are seeing COVID-19 cases increase, the Department of Health is also expecting COVID-19 hospitalizations to increase as well. And she says our hospitals are already stressed. When you have many, many, many more cases of Omicron variants, the numbers of people who end up needing hospital care can still be greater than what we experienced with the previous uh, variants of concern. Right now, there are 585 people hospitalized with COVID-19 in Arkansas, but that number is expected to grow. Our hospitals are already stressed. They're already very full with other patients who are not COVID patients. We're having staffing issues in our state as with other states. So we could put a lot of stress on our health care system. With at-home COVID-19 tests becoming more popular, Dr. Dillahay says Arkansas's test positivity rate is probably higher than what's being reported. And more people could be sick, which means more people could be hospitalized. We know from other countries that have had surges with this variant that the doubling time for cases was every two to three days. So we are on a rapid escalation of the number of cases. If you do test positive from an at-home test and do not go get a PCR test, Dr. Dillahay says you should still report your results to the state. All you have to do is call the 1-800 number on your screen and the Department of Health can add your test results to the state's information. The at-home tests are important and we hope people will use them. Uh, but if they are positive, and especially if they have symptoms, we want people to stay home. Those at-home testing kits can be hard to come by at our local pharmacies and the chain stores. So if you do need to get tested for COVID-19, the drive through COVID-19 testing site here at Washington Regional is open seven days a week from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Reporting live in Fayetteville, Emma Claybrook, 4029 News.